Hi and welcome to another one of my guitar lessons teaching the classic licks that I learned from some of the great blues guitar players of the 50s, 60s and, and other periods. Today we're going to look at the playing of one of the more obscure blues guitar players, a guy named Guitar Gable and he recorded on Excello Records as far as I know and his music includes a lot of cool ideas that you can borrow or incorporate into your own style, do whatever you want with. And I'm just going to show you some of the stuff that I've learned from Guitar Gable's playing. Starting out with the bass, bass runs. And a lot of Guitar Gable's songs feature really catchy bass lines that I like and I use when I play rhythm behind other people or you, know, you can make instrumentals out of them, you can do all kinds of stuff. So let me just show you a few examples of these bass runs. Here's one from a tune called Calm, Cool and Collected. And this song actually includes three or four variations on the same basic bass pattern. So I'll show all of these to you. Starts out like this. And that is a basic boogie pattern playing in the key of B flat, that's a first position B flat bar chord. A lot of his recordings seem to be an A, B flat or B. I'm not sure what key he's playing in, but the recording speed works out that way. So in B flat we're starting with our second finger on the sixth fret of the sixth string. It's a B flat note. Then we're going to the fifth string on the fifth and uh, eighth frets. Going up to the fifth fret or down to the fifth fret on the um, fourth string. And then back to the eighth fret. And you see the timing. So it's just one, one, two, one, two, one, two. And just play it fast. over a string when you get to the 4 chord, which is an E flat, back to the 1, then on the 5 we go down to this, the F, which is on the 8th fret of the 5th string, then my 1st finger is on the 7th fret of the 4th string, and my pinky, 4th finger down on the 10th fret of the 4th string, and then my 1st finger is back on the 7th fret of the 3rd string, and then back to the 10th fret of the 4th string, so, whoops, and walk it back down, something like that to wrap it up on the 5, and that's just one example of a guitar gable bass run. Now another variation on that is the following. And this is also from the, the tune Calm, Cool and Collected, kind of a different rhythm. He starts out the song with the fast bass line and then as the vocal goes on he plays something like this. On the four chord you could play like this. You could mix it up by playing. Here, let me show the show you that again. So he's going on the the same strings, and the variation is on the eighth fret of the fourth string. I'm picking it twice and kind of muting and bouncing, and then hitting it again. But this time it's the fifth fret of the fourth string down to the 8th fret of the 5th string, and back to our 5th fret of the 4th string. So, moving it over to the 4 chord, or we could do, what I'm doing is putting my 1st finger on the 6th fret of the 3rd string. at the 6th fret of the 4th string. Then on the 5 I can go down to the F or I can do it. All kinds of variations. 
variations you can you can do there. Now one thing he does on a couple of his songs is when he gets to the five, instead of going to the F here, he walks it this way. And what I'm doing is starting on the, the eighth fret of the sixth string. So we're in B flat, up to, to the fifth fret of the fifth string, and then just walking it down six, or walking it up, six, seven, eight. seventh fret and go right to the sixth. So the whole thing. And that's a different way of using that boogie bass over the four. So instead of playing this, you're doing this. And then leading right back into the one. And that's another way to wrap it up instead of going to the 6th fret of the 4th string, right there, you can do all kinds of little tricks, variations, each time around, different times around, but if you listen to Guitar Gable's playing, a lot of it includes these boogie bass lines. Now those are in fast tunes. Next I'm going to show you a few of his bass runs in slower tunes, which are also very cool. All right. Moving right along, some of his slower songs, Guitar Gable featured some really cool bass parts. Another thing I like about Guitar Gable's playing are some of his introductions to his songs. And there's a slow tune called Irene, which features not only a nice introduction, but a cool bass line and a really nice solo, all three of which I'll, I'll show you in this video. So the song is in the key of F, and it's really a 1-5 song, just in the F and then the C, or C. Which is our four chord. And so the song starts out with a, a nice introduction like this. And all I'm doing here is the, I've got my first finger on the fourth fret of the second string, my ring finger on the fifth fret of the first string, and my second finger on the fifth fret of the third string, it's a F7 shape. And then I'm just moving that up, alternating between the third, first, third string. So I'm picking the third, first, third, but I'm also getting that second string in there too. So I'm gonna go from the fifth to the fourth to the third fret. Then I'm gonna get an F shape, a partial F shape with my first finger on the first and second strings of the first fret and my second finger on the second fret of the third string. So I don't want to make a whole F chord, I'm just making a little partial chord with two fingers. Whoops, I slipped on that one. And then, I've got a C seventh chord which I'm taking from this position and just moving it up one. So this is a C7, C sharp 7. What is that? That is a, oh mercy, that is a D flat 7, D flat 7. So I'm going to a C7. Whole thing. Moving right along. Uh, Guitar Gable also had some really cool slow tunes with neat bass lines and, and rhythm parts. And one of his tunes called Irene featured a bass line that went like this, goes like this. Basically, it's just going back and forth between the one chord, which is an F, and the five chord, which is a C. So the bass pattern, I've got my first finger on the F note, first fret, sixth string. I'm going, hitting it three times. 
picking it three times. Then open fourth string. Then third fret of the fifth string. Open fifth string. First fret of the sixth string. So the whole bass pattern is. And when he goes to the five chord, he goes. C, fifth string, third fret. Now on the five, he's sliding from the first fret to the second fret on the third string. And he's going then to the fifth fret of the fourth string to the second fret of the fourth string. basically the entire song. That's what the bass is doing throughout the song. Another cool bass line in a slower tune comes from a song called This Should Go On Forever. And this tune is in the key of B flat, but I'm going to move it into A to make it a little easier for you to get the fingering down. Throughout the tune you have this bass line that goes like this. shifts keys, but let's just take a look at it here in, in the key of A at the in the one. Hitting the bass note, which is on the an A on the fifth fret of the sixth string. And then I'm going to the octave, the seventh fret of the fourth string. So it's and then up here to the fourth fret of the fifth string, down to the seventh fret. So it's the tricky part that I had trouble hearing at first, but I'm pretty sure this is what he's doing. If I'm wrong, someone show me. So he's going up here to the third and fourth fret, and then back down to the fifth, seventh fret, all on the fifth string. So it's... And then winding up on the, on the one, fifth fret of the sixth string again. Whoops. four chord in the song, he just moves everything over. Back to the one. In the opening of the song, there's an introduction, and then he really starts out on the four, goes back to the one, and then winds up on the five, which is the E, if we're playing an A, which is just the same pattern, but starting on the fifth string at the 7th fret, and then going to the octave for the E, which is the ninth fret of the 3rd string. And back to the 1. Pattern. There is a point where he goes to the 2 chord, the B. That's another kind of interesting guitar gable type bass line. There's another one that comes in an instrumental called Walking with the Kings and another instrumental called uh, Rumba, Rumba, Guitar Rumba, something like that. And I'll show you those as, as instrumental instructionals. I'll show you how to play those entire instrumentals on another lesson. Now one last uh, guitar gable rhythm that I want to leave you with is something I just picked up on. It's from a tune called Baby Baby Come to Papa. And he does a variation of the shuffle rhythm, your basic Chuck Berry type rhythm, which I think is really neat. I'm not sure what year he recorded this, and I'm really not positive what he's doing on the five of this, but it sounds like it's in B flat on the recording, but I want to put it in A so I can play it up here in the first position. And the basic rhythm goes something like this. <laughs> Peter, Peter Gunn theme. And 
it's kind of a hybrid between Peter Gunn and Chuck Berry. Peter Gunn thing meets Chuck Berry. So I'm playing up here, and this is a first position A chord. And my basic boogie riff has my first finger really on the four, fourth string, second fret. And then I'm hitting the open fifth string. And I'm muting with my right hand palm, just gently setting it on the strings down here. And I'm going then with my ring finger to the fourth fret on the fourth string. So normally you play something like this, a Chuck Berry type rhythm. This time he's going. I come down on the 4th fret of the 4th string, I'm hitting that open again with my 1st finger on the 2nd fret of the 4th string. Then my 2nd finger is going to the 3rd fret of the 5th string. Then off, and then pinky, ring finger from the 5th to the 4th frets. And as I'm doing this, I'm still hitting both the 5th and the 4th strings. That sounds like what he's doing. I'm already thinking about some kind of instrumental I can create using that rhythm. It's a cool rhythm. The song's neat, too. Then he switches over to the 4, which is a D. Just does the exact same pattern moving that first finger over to the second fret of the third string. Then when he brings it around on the five, this is where I haven't quite figured it out what he's doing. You could just do it like this. Whoops. So I'm just going down here. Whoops. Since that's a weird kind of position for the B chord, what I'm going to do is just start here with my first finger on the fourth fret of the third string and hit the open fourth string. And then I'm going to do like a Jimmy Reed type move here with my second and third fingers coming down on the fifth and sixth frets of the fourth string, still hitting both the third and fourth string. to that position and then coming down on the 6th fret of the 3rd string and then walking back to my original pattern. You can put a turnaround in there, do whatever you want, but that's another kind of unique rhythm idea that I've picked up from the playing of Guitar Gable.